Hi everybody, Colin here, and today I am excited to be Thanks. unboxing these amazing Monster Scenes Animal Pit and Dungeon Kits. Uh, now, if you haven't seen my first video where I go over the entirety of the Monster Scenes line and explain all the kits and what they're about, uh, check that. Uh, there'll be a link in the description, uh, so definitely give that a watch. Hope you'll like it. Um, but yeah, today we're just focusing on these two kits. Quick summation for any of those who uh, came in late or didn't watch the first video, but uh, the Monster Scenes were a great little toy uh, model kit put up by the Aurora Company in the early 70s. Um, they made like monsters and stuff like that, all centered around Dr. Deadly's lab, where Frankenstein and Vampirella live, and they have this uh, girl, the victim, that they terrorize, and all kind of fun stuff like that. But uh, whoop. Uh, eventually Nabisco, the Cracker People, bought out Aurora, and due to parental protests, they canned the line. Now, the Animal Pit and the Dungeon were in production at the time the molds were done, but they just hadn't uh, manufactured the kits or made them. The box artwork, everything ready to go. So uh, these kits sat in obscurity for 40 years until uh, some on some real heroes came along and bought the molds, bought the art, bought the licenses, and were able to retool them and fix them up and put them out. So today I'm gonna open them up. You guys are gonna watch. And uh, yeah, we're gonna build them up. Now they're snap kits, which is nice. So I don't have to glue anything today. I can just kind of snap them together. But it'll still give you hopefully a good look at what these kits look like. And then um, we'll go from there. So let me switch the camera over and uh, let's get started. Okay, welcome back. I'm now using the onboard microphone, so if the audio is a little wonky, please forgive that. I got my trusty old X-Acto knife here. I've got Dr. Deadly and the victim here for scale so we can measure parts. And I think we're gonna start with, um, let's do the dungeon, right like that. So let's take a look at the box here. Uh, I got that nice kind of navy blue, a little dusty ooh, at the top and uh, just Dencom is the company that, uh, you know, now owns the Monster Scenes licenses, uh, the, the logo, the dungeon, and it says it contains parts for the dungeon scene, uh, and it lists the parts, uh, including a spiked coffin and two giant rats and an armored aardvark is the last one, so that's pretty interesting. So let's take the uh, wrapping off so it glares a little bit less, and then we'll take a look at the rest of the box. So I'm just going to very gently... Take off an area here of the wrapper. Oh, it's like Christmas morning. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. So on the other sides of the box, we have this beautiful dungeon artwork. Uh, great looking drawing. You could see, uh, looks like the armored aardvark and the giant rats are there. But a great little painting. On the side we have some other Monster Scenes illustrations. This is for the uh, Jekyll and Hyde kit. Um, and you can see there some of the uh, gruesome goodies in the background. There's the giant insect, again with the gruesome goodies. Uh, the dungeon on the other side and we have the animal pit, and Dracula there. Dr. Deadly here, so fun stuff. On the bottom, just for, just what the heck, you have a, the a UPC label and then a little choking hazard. Don't let three-year-old kids play with this, so fun stuff. Let's open it up and see what we have. Okay, mm. super exciting, huh? Okay, ooh, so we've got our Instruction manual, which is a nice size, black and white, opens up into a big, looks like a very big production. That's pretty cool. So very exciting. Advertisement for some other stuff, and then how it combines with the animal pit here, how it's intended to. So very cool. And then let's see what else we got in here. And it looks like I had no idea this molded in a cool purple color. It's always fun. So a bag of parts here. Looks like the interior of the spiked coffin here. And then the final bag here. So let's move the box aside. 
and let's start opening some bags, shall we? So these are sealed here, and zook. And in bag number three, we've got, this is clearly the base of the kit. Uh, some extra little accessories, padlocks, hooks, all those sorts of things at the edge of the sprue here. Uh, this looks like the armored aardvark, I would, I would say. So it looks like he came off the sprue. That's okay, it happens. So let's see if the camera can pick this guy up. Yeah, pretty cool. And then the reverse side here. Uh, this back wall, and then the two pieces for this big old thing. And they're already partially snapped together, so that, I don't know if that's a bug or a feature, but there we go. So, and that's actually really easy, I'll show you. You can kind of see in there that they just snap in together. Now, I'll glue mine and sand the seams, but if you wanted to just build it just like this, there is nothing stopping you. And then that looks like, based on the slot at the bottom there, it's a little hard to see, there's little tabs here. It would fit into the base. Let's see if I can get it here. Maybe the reverse side. Huh. Yeah, more or less like that. I think I need to snap it a little bit more. There we go. So just like that. And then the back wall, there's tabs for it here, would just slot in right like so. See how easy these things are to come together? Um, all right, so that's bag one, I suppose. Let me pop this guy out. Bag two here is the armored coffin, or spiked coffin, sorry. Oh, and it looks like there's a couple of uh, rings in here. A clear plastic thing. I'm not sure what this necessarily goes to, but it's a little tiny clear plastic thing. And a bag of like chain links. So probably some interesting stuff will happen with that. Let's pitch these bags and make sure there's nothing in any of them. And we've got the beginnings of our spiked coffin here. So just for reference, on size, we have our victim down. She's maybe uh, five and some inches tall. And looks like she'll fit nicely into there. So that's pretty cool. So let's move these. And finally, this is this is the big bag here. Let's pop her open. Oh, so many pieces, so many pieces. All right, our spiked coffin lid with the, uh, you could see the spikes, which looks like it'll hinge at some point. Oh, and there's the edge for the padlock, just like that. So that's pretty sweet. Set that aside. Uh, pieces of wood, extra pieces of stone here. I'm not sure where they'll go quite yet. Uh, let's see, ooh, all the fun stuff. Uh, the floor grate, this looks like it might be like the base of a pillar. Uh, a lantern's there. I don't know what this thing is, but there it is, you know. Um, all kinds of fun stuff. Ooh, here we got it. Here we have our armored rats. Or, <laughs> keep saying giant rats. So that's pretty darn cool. And what I like is it's, uh, they look pretty similar, but they're actually completely, uh, each one is a little bit different than the other. The tails are different too, so that's pretty great. Um, another piece of wood, the back, I would assume, of the uh, of the coffin. Probably go in something like something like that. Kind of see there. Yeah, it just snaps together real nice. But so that's pretty cool. Some other little doodads here. Not sure what they're for yet. Okay, another uh, piece of stone, some other little things we're gonna need to, to deal with. They look like pulleys and stuff. Uh, a piece of board. And this nice pillar. So a lot of this stuff looks like it's gonna go together very easily. So uh, yeah, let me, get, let me start chopping them off and we'll get started.
Um, let me clear this off and we'll get to unboxing the animal pit. Then we can take a look at uh, both of the kits all built up. All right, so let's get started with the animal pit. As before, Dencom, the company that now owns the Monster Scenes license and has put out these kits, uh, the logo, the animal pit, uh, all the parts that come within it, uh, winch, pulley, hook, waist iron with padlock, dragon rat, and a modular base. So let's get the cellophane off here. Careful little cut that can just start pulling the old fingers. Oh, love it. All right, let's take a look at the sides and the bottom here. Uh, right on the front, you see this great animal pit artwork. Uh, what a great painting. That must be the dragon rat down there. And along the sides, it's the same thing as the dungeon, the same exact scene. So, and the bottom's the same with the little, don't give this to a three-year-old, they'll choke to death on it. So very cool. All right, now for my favorite part. Let's open it up. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's pink! <laughs> you can't see it yet. Here's the instruction manual, same as uh, we had before, with all kinds of fun stuff. And, oh yeah. I just noticed this. The lid is pink, and so are the parts. Just like the dark uh, blue-purple of the dungeon. So it looks like we got a nice big old wall here. Here is... Oh, I know they had trouble with this piece. This big, clear, curved piece. Oh, so good. So, I cannot wait to build this thing. Looks like the steps and stuff are in here. Uh, we got lids, walls, floors. All this fun stuff. I cannot wait to get into it. All right, so let's put the box away for a minute. Let's get unbagging. All right, and like I said before, these are all snap together kits, which is great because then I can snap them together, show you what they look like. Here's some cool steps. Oh, here's the dragon rat. Hot damn, I did not expect him to be this huge. So compared to the victim here. This thing is ginormous. That is so awesome. And uh, the bottom of it, and look at this tail. Oh man. This thing is, this is way bigger than I thought. That is awesome. So we got some uh, pieces of boards here. Looks like we got the beginnings of the uh, pulley system. Looks like a sprue broke off, so that's fun. Go into this bag here, this big guy. And I didn't expect this, and I really like it about both kits, but both this and the uh, dungeon came with its own rope and chains to be used. Little bits of chain link here. More rope, cool. This looks like the uh, base of the kit here. Great looking texture in there. And a whole bunch of things. Here's the hatch to open it up. Very cool. I'm like super excited about it. You guys have no idea how excited I am. Oh, a little more base here. I believe it'll go like that. Make a nice size. Oh, so good. So good. This looks like a chunk to the uh, waist harness and a hook to lower. And then this final bag here, and that not counting the um, big plexiglass thing. So. Oh yeah, looks like we got some walls, a platform to stand on, a couple of walls that'll come together. This is going to be great. All right, so let me trim these up and get it assembled, and then we can take a look at both of the kits.
all guys here we have the kits both of them together now these kits are huge so I'm going handheld for that especially the animal pit is very tall sorry about the lights there as you can see here's uh, Dr. Deadly and the victim and they are standing right beside them and these are very big kits now one thing I really love is that if you zoom in here the floor on the back of these line up so that you know they they match up really easily plus this is a very easy texture to recreate for me so I plan on adding a whole bunch to these some flooring out this way and in the front and stuff like that so it's a nice easy texture to do let's start over here with the dungeon we've got the armored armadillo his uh, hands are set up so he's going to glue right onto the pillar or someplace like that and these giant rats here, which are pretty cool. Uh, the spiked coffin, uh, as we've shown before, the victim fits in nicely. Now, I'll be doing major modifications, such as the hinges on these are very loose right now, and the lid just kind of falls off. But, yeah, there's the little spikes in there. I might make them a little bigger. But uh, Vicky, she fits in there real nice and locks up stuff like that. So a lot of fun. It also comes with kind of a moving column here. This doesn't attach to anything. You can position it however you want, you know. Uh, same with these blocks that come on top. There's two of them. And you can kind of do like that or, or however you want, like over here. You know, however you want to do it, it it's your call. It's uh, some kind of weird, but I like it that they give you the impression of a roof. And if this was a freestanding kit, if it wasn't connected to the animal pit, you could probably have it over in here, make the idea of it's, it's being, you know, four walls or whatever. So great kit. There's a lot of little doodads I haven't hooked up yet. A little tiny lantern. Let me pull it out right here. It hangs on a hook that's kind of in there. You can see it. Uh, the grate here. Um, it lifts up and kind of you can it's completely square so you can put it Wherever you want with the ring facing any side that you want and Let's face it this way. So eventually I plan to cut that ring off and put an actual uh, Hinged ring on there and permanently hinge this thing to the floor and have it open into like a pit There's a little hole right there. That's where a uh, the chain plugs in for the manacle and uh, the manacle is just a little thing I'll be dealing with this. Let's see if it'll even pick up. Yeah, it fits around the victim's wrist, but things like that, they tend to break as, as there's tension. So I'm going to make a hinged manacle um, that'll go there. But yeah, lots of fun kit. Very straightforward. But uh, let's move on to the animal pit next. Now, as you can see, this thing is massively tall. Um, this dragon rat is huge, especially compared to her. And I didn't show it here, but it fits straight down in there. This uh, lid lifts right off. And then, uh, I'm probably going to break the, break the whole model, but he's perfectly suited to fit down in there. Now, one thing I didn't hook up is these grates here in the back. As you can see, they lift up here like so. They have little rings at the top, and if you hook up the string, it goes up to this winch right here on the floor. Now that'll spin. There's little holes behind there that uh, allow the rope to go down to lift those up. Then we, of course, have this little tiny platform for the good doctor to stand on and do his thing. You know, that is very flimsy, and it has no bottom to it, so that's another thing I'm definitely be changing in the future. Um, however... That being said, let me spin the kit here. You can see the staircase on the other side is really cool. It has no bottom as well, another thing I'll need to fix going forward. But this is great. This is a locking mechanism, and then this thing uh, raises and lowers no problem. So what I'm going to do is just slide. It hinges open, but it's rather loose. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Vicky slides in with no problem. And now I don't want to just release the, uh, the release because that will cause major problems. But let's flip it up and lower away. And down she goes into the dragon rat pit. What's cool too is the slot in here 
means that you can keep her trapped hanging down in there you know and then of course once the vial experiments are done you can watch your head Vic walk it and there we go and pull her back up and into safety huh I wonder why these kits were banned I don't know. I mean, I guess I could see this winch putting like a slab of beef on there to feed this thing, but <laughs> no, it's perfectly made up for the victims. So amazing. I am so looking forward to getting started uh, cleaning these kits up, doing some modifications to them, adjusting everything, and, and really making them mine and fitting them in with the other Monster Scenes kits. So these get my seal of approval. I love them. If you can pick these kits up, I would highly recommend it. All right, that's it for me, guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you again soon. Bye.